how to remove that ugly noise from the photos while preserving all the details. Finally, we can get rid of that high ISO noise with a single click all within Lightroom. Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the brand new artificial intelligence driven denoise feature in Adobe Lightroom which does an amazing job in denoising the photos. <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> this is a photo I took in a quite dark room so I had to raise the ISO to make the shutter speed fast enough. Therefore it's pretty noisy, especially that I had to further brighten it up in post. So in the develop module, I scroll down to the details panel and I click on denoise. Or I could just right click on the photo and select enhance. Then the enhance preview window pops up and by default the denoise is checked in. It's taking its time, well it takes quite much time to be honest, but the result is worth it. Clicking on the preview panel, I can see how the original version looks. With the hand tool, I can move around the preview window and with the magnify icon, I can jump to see the whole photo. And then click back to the part I want to examine. The denoise slider can be adjusted depending on how strong noise reduction I want, but in my experience, 50 gave the most pleasing results. Then click on enhance and Lightroom is going to create a separate DNG file, which has the denoising applied. Now I select both images and with the compare view, I can compare them directly. Wow, look at this. The noise is gone, but the detail and sharpness remains. Look at the hair, look at the skin and on the overall colors. It's almost like lifting up a whale. I mean, not a, a whale, but a whale. How do you really pronounce the same? Guys, if you think this video is helpful, please hit the thumbs up so the algorithm is going to suggest similar videos to you. But why is this better than the old luminance noise reduction tool? On the left, you can see the old luminance noise reduction slider pushed to 50 and on the right, the denoised photo. Look how much better the denoised version conserved the details. Look at her skin and also on her hair. The old luminance slider is just smudging the pixels. Whereas the denoise feature is almost like a magical wand. Another example, ISO 32000 on a Canon R7. Wow, again, it's doing a phenomenal job, especially in the dark areas. It's almost like, uh, I don't know, but it's almost like shot at a much lower ISO. And again, it's so much better than the original luminance noise reduction slider. But this denoise feature is not only for the very noisy photos. It also works beautifully on slightly noisy photos. Just look how much cleaner and more real to life the denoise photos are. So what are the limitations of the denoise feature as of April 2023? First, denoise can only be applied onto raw photos, so no DNGs, no compressed DNGs, no TIFFs, and most importantly, no JPEGs. So it can be only applied to raw file formats. Second, denoise cannot be applied on a photo that has already been denoised. Well, I think that's, that's quite obvious. <laughs> and thirdly, this is the elephant in the room. I think it's freaking slow, at least on my M1 MacBook Air, it took Lightroom about 50 seconds to denoise a single photo. I think that's, that's a pretty long time, but the result is definitely worth it. And finally, Adobe says that it's best to apply the denoising before you do the editing, especially before applying masks or healing brushes. So that was the magical denoise feature in Adobe Lightroom. What do you think about it? Have you tried it? What are your results? Let me know down in the comments. And also, if you ever come to Budapest, Hungary, make sure to book a night photography tour with me. See you soon and all the best from Hungary.